ودينا من بعد البريك في اخر فقراتنا في برنامج رايكم شباب وشفنا لقطات جدا جميله لماراثون في طاقه واعيه لشاب الكويت ولكن في فكره اوروبيه بريطانيه راح نتكلم عنها بتفاصيل اكثر مع دعم من لوياك اللي دائما ما نحظى في هذا الدعم الشبابي الواضح من قبل هذه نقدر نقول منظمه ولا نقول شنو الاسم قليل بحقها لان فعلا تقدم العديد من الاعمال الخيريه وخصوصا هذا الماراثون خيري انساني شبابي ماراثون مارش فور اون راح نتكلم في تفاصيل هذا الموضوع شرف لنا في تواجد منسق اعلى العلاقات العامه والاعلام في لوياك علي حياتي حياك الله حياك الله ورام باتن ذا اونر اوف ذيس ايديا ويلكم السلام عليكم هاي وعليكم Thank السلام uh, طبعا اليوم شرف لنا ان نتكلم في هذا الموضوع نتكلم عن هذا الماراثون ومتراح اقام شنو التفاصيل فيرست اوف اول اتس اونر تو هاف يو توداي ان ذيس اور شو فور يور بيبل اند اكشولي يو ار ذا اونر اولسو فور ذيس ايديا سو هاو يو جيت ذيس ايديا ذا ايديا واز اوريجينلي كرييتد ان 2010 اند ذا ايديا واز تو كرييت ا بلاتفورم to help fundraise um, and draw attention and awareness to other charities and non-profit organizations. Mm -hmm. um, so when I came here to Kuwait, um, I've been working uh, for the last two, two and a half years uh, mm -hmm. with the Q1 Combined Group as a consultant. And from there, I decided that um, the warm reception and the friendships that I have built here in Kuwait, um, it was my responsibility and my duty to honor those friendships and the hospitality Uh, by giving something back to the Kuwaiti community, and that's why I selected Loyak as the recipient non-profit and organization. And they will support you also on this whole situation. One hundred percent. I was very fortunate. Actually, I uh, I showed up at the Loyak headquarters without any appointment. Mm -hmm. um, I was uh, introduced to the general manager Faisal Al Harun, mm -hmm. who then introduced me to the chairwoman, uh, Madam Farah Al Sakaf, mm -hmm. um, and the, with the two of them, I've had all the support I could receive. And actually, it has made me more inspired to do even better. Ram, we want to talk about. I'm sure I'll say something. Ram, I'll say something. But I'll say something. Why did you choose Kuwait as a country among the world to do and maintain such a marathon? I think it's international. It will be from your participation in the world. Why did you choose Kuwait between all these countries to do this marathon? Um, I, I live here. Uh, mm -hmm. I moved to Kuwait with my wife and our daughter, and um, we have, as I mentioned in the beginning, the hospitality we have received. Um, we really hope to make this our home, mm -hmm. um, and we feel very welcome. So it's as a, a British expat, it is my responsibility to honor the friendships um, and the hospitality we receive from Kuwait. Mm -hmm. So I have a responsibility to give back to the Kuwaiti community. And the best way that I would like to do that is to support Loyak with the youth development programs yeah. because that is the future of Kuwait. Nice. Uh, Ram, let us talk about the Loyak yes. and how uh, they support you in this whole situation, how you began with them yeah. and the way, what they uh, did for you for supporting this marathon. Sure, thank you for asking. Um, as I mentioned at the very beginning, I was working uh, closely with Mr. Faisal Al Harun, the general manager, um, mm -hmm. and we got the blessing of uh, Madame Farah Al Sakaf, the chairwoman of uh, Loyak. Mm -hmm. What really attracted me to Loyak is the tremendous work that they do with the youth development in Kuwait. Um, they have the internships, the summer programs. Mm -hmm. um, they they do so much to give back to the community, mm -hmm. and the focus is for merit-based uh, progression. So the young people who get involved are taught and supported by members of staff such as Ali um, and the rest of the teams uh, to actually come up with ideas and to bring those ideas forward and to teach them that if they work hard enough, they can also gain their own experiences. Mm -hmm. um, and this hopefully helps them integrate into the private sector. Inshallah, uh, it will. In, inshallah, it will. And and um, I mean, I am uh, extremely privileged and honored to have the opportunity to work with such a family-based uh, mm -hmm. company uh, and organization. Uh, everybody in there. If you spend one day, um, 
you see all these individuals from different families, they come together and they form another family yeah, exactly. and they make things happen. Like a new family is born. It's very easy and today we are thinking about this human marathon. The good thing is to do with the people who are working with the European 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 European. Thank you so much Mr. Ram, the owner uh, of us to have you today and uh, we want to see this uh, event or this uh, this marathon next week, inshallah. inshallah. And I wish I will be there to inshallah. get a little exercise. We'd love inshallah. to have you there. Inshallah. You want to tell them why exactly are we doing it? Yeah, we have, uh, we have different timings. So the whole march is, is, uh, is done symbolically. So we'll start at 2 o'clock to demonstrate the dawn of our relationships with the Anglo-Kuwaiti relationships. And we finish at 10 o'clock to show the sunlight, the future. Thank you, Mr. Ram, Thank you. for uh, this uh, interview. And inshallah, we want to see this marathon uh, clearly next week. Yeah, thank you, guys. And inshallah, we'll see you in the next video. We'll see you in the next video.